Hi, my name is James Sabri, and I run Genentech Partnering. And our goal is to scour the planet for cool science, cool products, and cool technology, and bring them into Genentech. Now, before I did this, I was CEO of a number of biotech companies. And during that time, I actually got to know what life is like as a CEO of a biotech company. And this has allowed the group and me to look at deals, I think, from a more interesting viewpoint than many pharma companies. So if you're a biotech company considering partnering with us, there are really two considerations to think about, science and economics. Now, science you all know about, and I think most people agree that Genentech is a global leader in science in the areas we're interested in. But I want to talk to you today about economics. There are three buckets of value that we bring economically to a biotech company when we do a deal. The first of these is cash, the second of these is value creation, and the third is liquidity. Now, cash is easy to understand. It's both a strategic asset for you, it's also an operating asset for you. And it comes to you in the form of upfront payments, milestone payments, and eventually royalties. Liquidity is also easy to understand. It can be had either through an IPO in the current market, this is actually a very reasonable thing to do, or it can also come through mergers and acquisition, and there are ways we can do that as well. But what I really want to talk to you about today is value creation. Value creation is about that piece where we take the investigational medicine that you're working on and develop it, manufacture it, and eventually commercialize it, both to the marketplace and eventually to patients who need it. This is, in my opinion, the most important part of value creation for the biotech company. And you should really be asking the question when you're thinking about partnering is, what company in the world, if I could choose any company, is going to be best at developing the investigational medicine that we've discovered? You should go for that partner because this value creation is by far economically the most important part of building value in a biotech company. An example of this is a company that we bought called Saragon. Now, Saragon is a small biotech company in San Diego. It had a phase one investigational medicine for breast cancer that we were very interested in. And we bought the company for $725 million up front and then another billion dollars in contingent payments. So there was the cash payment, so the cash part was taken care of. We bought the company, so the liquidity part was taken care of. But what really allowed the deal to come forward and why Saragon really eventually chose Genentech over a number of other companies was the value creation. When we presented the clinical development plan, our plan for both the manufacturing and eventually, potentially, commercialization of their product, it was clear to them that this was the most robust and largest plan that they had seen. And that's why eventually they did the deal with us. So that's what it's about. In my experience, it's all about value creation. Biotech companies need to be thinking who is the absolute best partner who is most likely to bring their molecule into the marketplace and to patients.